The annual boaters gathering at the Black Country Living Museum has taken on a different dimension thanks to the highly popular TV series Peaky Blinders took the viewing public by storm. The historic boat dock at the museum is the backdrop for many industrial scenes in the series and the canals of the Black Country and Birmingham feature strongly. So when dozens of historic boats, many of them from the interwar years, take up residence in the boat dock for the weekend, there's certainly a Peaky Blinders feel. In fact, the visitors, uh, the visiting boats, included a couple that have featured in the television series. Clematis, originally built by, Yar uh, by Yarwoods for Fellows Morton and Clayton, has just appeared in Series 5 as Narrowboat January. And Bittle also recently appeared in the same series of Peaky Blinders as the Billy Boys boat from Glasgow. Beyond the fiction, the annual bringing together of some of the region's most extraordinary vessels allows the museum to rekindle a way of life that has long since vanished. The museum itself owns several boats of its own, including Birchall's, a 1953 wooden joey boat, built by Ernest Thomas of Warsaw and used to carry coal to the Wolverhampton Power Station. There are several station boats from various periods from the late Victorian era through to the 1930s, but the museum's own star boats are President and Kildare. The ex-Fellows uh, Morton and Clayton steam narrowboat built of iron in around 1909 at a cost of £600 uh, in fellow Morton and Clayton's company dock at Saltley. Uh, Kildare, its butty, was built by Braithwaite and Kirk for FMC a few years later. Unfortunately, the pair haven't been seen out and about on the waterways for nearly three years, as President needs a new boiler and the funds just aren't there. Visiting boats included that TV um, star Tug Bittle, um, originally built, by the way, by Yarwoods for Stuarts and Lloyds as a purpose-built tug for towing and ice-breaking. There was Caggy, the 44-foot tug built in iron by Harris Brothers of Neverton for, apparently, folks to break, break the ice for the war effort. It was later sold to Alan Stevens, or Caggy as he's known, of Tipton and takes a prominent spot on the boat dock in these uh, gatherings. Other visitors inside and outside the dock include Cassia Pier, built for the Grand Union Carrying Company as a star-class boat, Clover, another FNC boat built in 1935, and a slight oddity, Roger Allsop's Comet, built in 1979 by the ex-working boatman himself. The tug Coventry, built in 1880 as a horse-drawn icebreaker and converted to a tug by Harris Brothers of Bumblehole, Dove, a Joshua built by Yarwoods of Northwich for FMC, and Governor, a 1941 Iron Tug, another black country boat. Leo, owned by the British Waterways Heritage Fleet and paired with Scorpio, and another pair, Malice and Atlas, owned by the Coonswood Canal Trust and BCN Society, were on the dock. And there were many others, such as Towie and uh, Uranus, but a list grows monotonous. This was a day really for historic boat fanatics, but it also fascinated the non-boating public, and Peaky Blinders may well have had a lot to do with that.